Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's tutorial because it's another bright and fun, colorful look. I am getting such Barbie vibes from the look with the pink and purple. I am loving it. I was actually really inspired by a Pat McGrath sponsored post that I saw. I think it was on Instagram stories or Snapchat. Either one of those, but the look was similar to this. I loved the purple liner, so that's what I really took away from the look and that kind of halo look. So I did obviously put my own little twist to it and added some brighter, fun colors. So I hope that you guys enjoy, and if you want to stick around to see how I created this pink purple Barbie-esque look then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Summer in Saint Tropez eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Sand. For my transition shade I'm going to start by running this through my crease with my Sigma E38 diffuse crease brush. Just going back and forth. I'm now picking up Super Yacht. I'm now picking the shadow up on my finger and I'm going to start swiping this onto my lid just on this outer third. I'm going to keep the center free of any shadow. And then popping that right on this inner third of my lid as well. And then I'm picking that shadow up on my F70 concealer brush. And I'm going to start just applying this roughly at the bottom of my crease. And then doing the same thing on this inner part. And then lightly just bringing that inward. And then I'm going to create a rough winged out shape. Now going into nightlife. So I barely tap my brush in there just to pick up the slightest amount of the shadow and I'm going to apply this right at this high point of where I applied Super Yacht and then start blending that out. I also just went back in and applied Super Yacht again on the outer and inner corner and just in case if I lost any of that shadow when I was blending. And now I wiped off this E38 and I'm picking up sand and just applying this at this very high point of my crease to help diffuse everything out. For the center of my lid, I'm going into Marina. And now picking this shadow up on my finger, I'm going to apply this right in the center. And if you go back and forth and just tap, that's going to help blend the shadows together. Now going into this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Psychedelic Sister. So I'm roughly going to line my lash line with this pencil. I'm now going to start buffing out that pencil with my E21 smudge brush by Sigma. And then I'm just picking up a little bit of this pencil on my EO6 wing liner brush and creating a little small wing just to elongate the eyes. I'm now picking up Cabana. Now I'm just applying this over top of this pencil with my E15 flat definer brush and I'm kind of bringing the brush from the top and flicking that upwards. So it doesn't really disturb the kind of diffused effect that I'm trying to create. For my lower lash line, I'm going to apply sand first. You're not really going to see it, but it's just going to help make the shadows a little bit more blendable. And then picking up Super Yacht and starting to apply this across my lower lash line. Just applying a little bit right in the center, but mostly concentrating the most pigment on this inner corner and outer corner. And then going in with Marina and applying this right in the center, basically doing the same thing that's on my lid and mimicking that on my lower lash line. I'm now going to apply that same shadow Marina on my inner corner. And then lastly, just lighting my waterline with that same Urban Decay pencil. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and so I'm going to these Carity 3D Foam Ink Lashes in Jamie. And that's the eye look done. Now for lipstick, I'm going to go into this Sigma Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Anti-Venom. It's a really pretty kind of muted, paler, pink nude. <laughs> and that is it. This is the completed look of my pink and purple Halo Smoky Eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm honestly shocked at how much I like this look. I'm actually loving it, and I think it's that purple liner with the purple waterline. It really enhances my hazel eyes, and I'm loving that technique. So I think I want to kind of do a more neutral, muted, kind of nude eye with this pop of colored liner. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Maybe a different color. If you do, then let me know down in the comments, and I will definitely film that for you guys. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that'd be right here, as well as down the description box, and also a list of all the products that I use today, along with the brushes that I use will be listed down below in the description box so you can find everything easier and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not already and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload my tutorials and i think that should be it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye